Good Monday afternoon to you. I'm Sarah Weinstein with news from CNN. Heavy snow in the Northeast ended a busy holiday shopping weekend a little early. Industry experts say shoppers were out in force Saturday but mostly stayed home on Sunday. Some analysts say the arrest of Saddam Hussein may help consumer confidence as the month closes out. And officials at Fort Stewart in Georgia are accusing payday lenders of preying on U.S. troops. They say military bases have become a target for those lenders. Some charge a 720 percent annual interest rate. Military officials are asking Georgia's lawmakers to crack down on those loans. They're illegal under state law. Weather is next. Good Tuesday afternoon to you. I'm Sarah Weinstein with news from CNN. The top army general in Iraq says he's concerned about the non-stop attacks on coalition forces. Lieutenant General Ricardo Sanchez says the number of guerrilla attacks have soared from five or six attacks during the month of May to an average of 30 attacks in the last 30 days. And the Reverend Jesse Jackson says the Bush administration should clean up its act at Fort Stewart in Georgia. Jackson told soldiers there yesterday that the government has a moral obligation to provide better health care and housing to sick reservists. Many of those reservists have been complaining about lax medical care and poor conditions. Weather is next. Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm Sarah Weinstein with news from CNN. The September 11th Victims Compensation Fund is now closed. Midnight was the deadline for relatives of victims to file claims. The fund has received claims from about 92 percent of eligible families. Relatives who file an application must agree not to sue the airlines. And Nashville is enjoying a new modern energy plant this week. It replaces an old thermal plant that burned much of the city's trash for about 30 years. The new plant is much more energy efficient. Weather is next.